Assalamualaikum I will continue on for the introduction part Firstly, I will introduce our group members which is Muhammad Fami bin Asaruddin Muhammad Afisuddin bin Muhammad Rozi Muhammad Adam bin Sosarisa and lastly Muhammad Amahakim bin Isa Alright Physical products need to be packaged in order to prevent harm to product itself as well as to present the product and its brand in an appealing manner to a specific demographic of consumers. Because why? Because it provides a platform on which information about the product and the brand may be communicated. Plus, uh, packaging is a key component of product branding because of its role as a conduit for such communication carry on uh, in the objective uh, what we want to achieve in the project is to apply the principle of packaging in our project next is to obtain the knowledge on the packaging process and lastly to protect the prototype from damage the this project uh, we will use or implement our knowledge on the packaging fundamentals uh, to achieve all of these objectives for the scopes, uh, this project allows the students to acknowledge the importance of the principles, packaging, fundamentals, and constraints when in development. Then, uh, we can investigate how packaging of convenient goods is an integrated part of the international new product development process. Hai, Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh I am Hafizuddin And now I will continue our group project with literature review part In the literature review part, there is definition of packaging The diagram uh, is the state of packaging discipline by J.F. Hanlon in 1998 uh, Jeff and then tell us that packaging technology should have mechanical engineering, chemical engineering, mathematics, physics, and packaging science. And then there is at least seven uh, materials in packaging industry. The first, the uh, packaging material such as material availability, properties, and testing. Second, Packaging system such as product package design and specification. Third, packaging distribution such as retailing, warehouse, shipping and transportation. Fourth, packaging equipment operation such as machinery, line operation and sequence operation. Fifth, packaging system such as package system and packaging equipment. Sixth, uh, specific. Industry specific packaging system such as manufacturing, economic, industry specification, and last, uh, social and national contributions such as community activities, law regulation, economic and environment, environmental effect, and then uh, packaging material can be divided into three. There is uh, primary packaging secondary packaging and tertiary packaging for the primary packaging it is the basic packaging for example jars and bottles there are five main basic material of primary packaging that is used from paper base uh, metal base plastic base glass base and combination of materials for secondary packaging, it is the packaging that contains the primary package. For example, the box that contains packets of biscuit. Secondary packaging material is related to support a package for more proper and better for purpose packaging system as required. Several secondary packaging materials are such as adhesive, tapes, printing inks and desiccants. And last, uh, for tertiary packaging, it is packaging for a group of products for storage and transportation. For example, larger corrugated boxes containing individual boxes arranged on pallets, wrapped and ready to be transported in the lorry. 
this is the diagram that shows the levels of package system. There is a, a tin of green peas for primary packaging and then a couple of tins that is put into the box for the secondary packaging. And lastly, for the tertiary packaging, a couple of box we put into the other boxes in sequence. And then the packaging we have to test the packaging. The test is named by a drop test. Standard test methods for mechanical shock, fragility of products using a shock machines. This is the diagram that shows uh, shock machines. This method uh, are intended to provide the user with data on product shock fragility that can be used in choosing optimum cushioning materials for shipping containers or for product design modification. And last for the literature, literature review of packaging is graphic design as a packaging marketing tool. Graphic design as a part of marketing strategy to fulfill marketing requirements, regulatory requirements, packaging material needs, and printing capabilities. The graphic design as tool example, color tune, pro predominant typography, recognizable symbols or icon, illustration, ergonomic shape, decoration, and color separation. Thank you. Assalamualaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh. My name is Muhammad Fahmi bin Asaluddin. My metric number is CN21003. So, I will explain about the methodology of our project. In this section, we will explain about the steps to produce primary, secondary and tertiary packaging. In addition, we will show uh, the equipment use, the material chosen and the design we will make. Firstly, we start our project by following the flowchart. Then, we list out all the equipment that we use for this to make primary, secondary and tertiary packaging. Next, we continue by designing our packaging. At the end of this report, we show our work. Uh, this is the list of equipment that we use. Uh, pencil, cutter knife, ruler, scissors, plastic bottle, cardboard, and white cardboard. Next, this is a new design for primary product. We change design to look more attractive than the old one. We also put the ingredient details, halal gold, barcode, and bottom issue logo. We designing our primary packaging product by using smart mockup and gamba. So, this is our front design and back design. This is the original pineapple juice product and this is also our primary packaging. We have not changed much about the primary packaging. We only changed the labeling design, the bottle size and the material the same. The size of the bottle use is 3050 ml. We move to secondary packaging. Secondary packaging is the packaging that contain the primary packaging. Here is our secondary packaging. We use white cardboard for our secondary packaging. This cardboard can fill 6 of juice nanas. The dimension of secondary packaging is 15.5 cm length, 10.3 cm width, and 17.5 cm height. Uh, design of secondary packaging is the same with the primary packaging. We designing our secondary packaging by using smart mockup. While for the layout, we use on shape. Lastly, for our tertiary packaging, tertiary packaging is packaging for a group of products of storage and transportation. So this is our design for tertiary packaging and the layout of tertiary packaging. The tertiary packaging can fulfill two secondary packaging. The dimension of tertiary packaging is. 15.5 cm length, uh, 
cm width and 17.5 cm height we designing the layout by using on shape while for today we can we use smart mockup so as you can see uh, this is our design for today packaging and the layout okay next is discussion the drop test simulate the free fall of package on its corner each and surface by using drop tester machine to achieve this the packaging is filled with the products and drop from a defined height okay basically we use secondary packaging and tertiary packaging for drop test uh, we take three times uh, drop test for get the best result The next is relationship between material and packaging design. Packaging material are uh, material selected for manufacturing packaging, packaging and printing container, packaging and transportation, and other products that meet packaging requirement. The packing material must be well insulated and waterproof in order to properly package items that must be moisture proof. In the packaging design process, material and packaging have a very close relationship from pre-packaging design to material selection and then from material selection to design thinking design. Designer can have a great influence. Now, as a conclusion, it was discovered that packaging has always been of significance on the other hand, it was discovered that packaging significance has grown within the context of concept development, which suggests that packaging significance has indirectly grown in significance within the context of the process of developing new products. In addition, packaging is incorporated into every stage of the process, but the process, the phase in which the concept is developed is when it is given the most weight throughout the process international organizations have a responsibility to take into consideration the level of uniformity so overall the project was a success uh, as we are able to implement the principle of packaging and able to develop the prototype accordingly as for the recommendations uh, firstly the primary packaging or known as the bottle, container, wrapper, box or component that is located closest to the product itself has multiple purposes. It not only protects, preserves, contains and informs customers, but it also communicates customers the story of your business. Next, the use and application of secondary packaging are typically very different from those of primary packaging due to the fact that secondary packaging does not come into direct contact with the actual product. Lastly, one of the most important steps, which is uh, it can be taken to ensure that the success of a packaging development project to ensure that all of the members of the group are there from the very beginning. This point can be emphasized enough. Projects typically have predetermined goals built into them.